I'm going to give you the job. That is how it works with me. That's why I told you, if a person has the qualification, if he's the best for the job, I will give him the job. But that is the military. There's a code of conduct for the military and how polit politics works in Kenya, Mr. Let me tell you, my friend, I had the opportunity. I could have appointed anybody. I had, I think, 10 choices. I didn't have to. You know, there are people who say, oh, you know, William Ruta appointed uh, Ogola because he was the deputy C uh, CDF. That's not the no. But, you know, I also must be sensitive. What exercised my mind? This gentleman has a good track record. And in fact, when I spoke to him, and uh, it's not something that I should be talking about, but because you have asked a, 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 a good question. What exercised my mind what to do? Maybe he, and when I talked to him, he told me, I have no defense. He told me, I have no defense. You do with me whatever you want. I cannot defend. It was wrong. What I did was wrong. Yeah? I am also conscious. Uh, uh, my good uh, friend uh, Ayub. I'm also conscious that since independence, there is nobody from Nyanza who has ever been CDF. And it also played in my mind that I don't want a situation where a whole community think they cannot, they cannot occupy a certain office. So many things that are part of my system overweighed the mistake he had done, okay. you know? So I, I want to uh, tell you that I make very sensitive appointments. I make very deliberate appointments. Many of the appointments, of course, that do not have to directly require my signature. Many of these managing directors, I don't know who, they are uh, interviews okay. all over the place, you know? So, and uh, when a panel decides, uh, for example, uh, I was brought, um, uh, a panel that interviewed uh, the CEO of a uh, museum. And just by coincidence, you know, the person who became number one was my classmate. And I did, I, I, I never, I, ne I never even uh, asked anybody to, to assist her. So when, they, when it came to me, I told my friend, you know, if she's the best, okay. she was a lady, Okay, so it's safe to assume that according to the president of Kenya, Kenya is a country where all Kenyans are equal before the law, but interestingly, according to his deputy president, it's a shareholding company in which political appointees ought to be the priority for the government. I think you should not uh, take the sentiments of my deputy out of context. What was the context? I think it is fair if you can arrange an interview with him so that you can contextualize you know, because now we are discussing him, me and you, yeah. and he's not here. Not him per se, Mr. No, President. No, because that's what it okay. is. Okay, not you him know? per se, Mr. President. We, we are discussing what he said. He is he's no, not the subject uh, here, but, but okay. Uh, uh, Let me put it this way. Let me paraphrase the question. What's your interpretation of what a shareholding company means? What do you understand by it? I think from where I sit, I think what Rigadi Gashagwa is just trying to say is that while... It is true that first, we must serve all Kenyans equally. We must, to the extent possible, spread appointments across the country. And that's what I have tried as much as possible to do. If you look at my CA, uh, PSS, I think I got PSS from 41 counties. If you look at the, the CASs, I got CSS, I think, from 45 counties. Every county has a CS in my administration, even the ones who voted for my opponent. I put them. If it was the philosophy of my deputy, yes. they wouldn't be shareholders, mm. and therefore they wouldn't qualify. But you know, they, there is an, an extent to which you must nationalize, you know? Many people thought, for example, the Hustler Fund, Many people thought, oh, you know, this is just going to be for the people who voted for uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. It is not. Look at the, the distribution of the Hasla Fund. 
every county in the Republic of Kenya equally. You know, you don't have to know nobody. You don't have to know your MP. You don't have to speak to nobody. It is your phone and a hustler fund. You have your, you have your money, you move on. So that is, and, and precisely, uh, my good brother, I, precisely what I was saying. Instead of arguing about 20 appointments, 15, I don't know, this community, that community, why don't we bake a bigger cake? Mm. Why don't we create a million, two million jobs so that everybody has a piece of the pie? And that is what I am asking my good people, the people of Kenya, to help me, you know? Invest in these programs. Let us pay our taxes. Let us contribute to the housing uh, fund. Let us, let, let us, those of us who have a job, let us not hold those who are in, in, without a job in contempt. It, they have not committed any crime. They are not lesser human beings. That's it is just that they don't have the opportunity me and you have. Mm. Let us do something about them also feeling part Mwishmiwa, uh, kabla mwelekezi wetu wa kiongozi wetu kumalizia, naomba tukate mzizi wa fitina kwa swali lake uh -huh. ayub. Kwa hivyo, sasa hivyo neza kuambia wa Kenya kwamba matamshi ya naibu wako unayakana na kwa kashifu kwamba serikali yako si kampuni ya hisa. Aya ni mambo yako. Kwa hivyo, unamunga mkono basi. Aya ni mambo yako. Tu, tu, tuambia jiwa. Mimewambia, uh -huh. you know, yule buwana ni mtu mwenye ako na Eh, anaweza kujieleza. Mm -hmm. Mbona nyinyi mnakuja kumleta hapa kumja, kumleta kwa mjadala hapa? Mumemuliza yeye akakataa kuwaona. Tumeleta Bo... maneno yake atujemu. Yeah, mbona mnaleta maneno yake na ni mtu mzima? Kwa sababu ninaye. Akona kilitimamu. Wewe ndio kiongozi wa serikali. Mbona 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 msiende kum... nimewaeleza msimamo wa serikali ya Kenya. Sasa ile imebaki mtafute anaitwa Rigiji. Mhm. Mm mtafute Excellency, <laughs> we will be concluding our uh, conversation this evening, and thank you very much for uh, giving us this time. But we have to conclude with a conversation about the future generations. Yes. Article 53 of the Constitution, every child in Kenya has a right to free and compulsory basic education. The junior 